To show that the limit of x squared times sine of 1 over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0, we can use the squeeze theorem, which I've written here for your reference. The key to evaluating this limit with the squeeze theorem is knowing where to start with an inequality. Thankfully, this has a trig function in it, sine, which we know is bounded between negative 1 and positive 1. So we begin with what we know. Sine of 1 over x is between negative 1 and positive 1. Remember, it doesn't matter what the input is, sine has to lie between these two values. Then, we must make this, in the middle, match what we're actually trying to evaluate. So, we'll multiply through the inequality by x squared. Then, on the left, we have negative x squared. On the right, we have positive x squared. And in the middle, we have x squared times sine of 1 over x, just as desired. To apply the squeeze theorem, the limits of the lower function and the upper function must be equal. So next, we evaluate those. In this case, as we approach 0, the limits are very straightforward. Just plug in 0. The limit of negative x squared as x approaches 0 and the limit of positive x squared as x approaches 0 are both equal to 0. And so the squeeze theorem applies, and we can conclude that the function squeezed between them must have the same limit. Thus, by the squeeze theorem, we have our desired result. The limit of x squared times sine of 1 over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0. We can see the squeezing behavior of the functions plainly in their graph. This is positive x squared, negative x squared, and in red we have x squared times sine of 1 over x squeezed between them. And we see their limits are all approaching 0 as x approaches 0.